Hey everybody, I'm John Granado, and that's Lance Zerline. We're on the bench, mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so you get all our content here. Hey Lance, we've seen the Texans are back to a culture uh, deal. we got problems with D-Hop, we had problems with uh, Jadavian, we've had problems with Deshaun, we got problems with Roby. Now we got a problem with Zach Cunningham. He missed the Tampa preseason game for personal reasons, and now he's out. He benched for the first quarter of this last game against the Browns because of disciplinary reasons. The Texans are having a real star problem, aren't they? Are they going to be able to keep stars or get stars to come here with this culture first, uh, team first culture? I mean, unless you think stars want bad culture and that they're all bad actors, I mean, and they all, yeah, why not? Why not? You just held a guy accountable. We we get so, when did holding people accountable for for what they do wrong, when did that become some kind of, boy, this is, you're never going to get anyone to here to play here if you have rules. I mean, you can't have rules. Zach Cunningham obviously broke rules. They held him accountable. They they kept him out. If you don't have accountability, you know what you have? You have a team like last year where you had to make deals with guys to practice, and all the wide receivers over the last couple of years wanted to to sit out of practice because D-Hop did and Will Fuller did. And I think it's just it sets a bad tone. I, I love that they – look, if you didn't handle your business, you, you go take your time out. It, this is ultimately what you're doing. It's like parenting. If you don't handle your business and do what you're supposed to do, then there's you, ha- you have to be held accountable. And I'm glad the Texans are holding guys accountable. This is actually a good thing. This should make people realize, okay, the Texans have a way of getting things done. And you know who you attract? You attract serious players who are serious about winning and mm. not just doing whatever they want to do. Listen, the best organization in the history of the NFL, There, it's culture, it's first Culture first. The team is first on everything, and we do we uh, pl- go by the rules. And yet, who do they pick up? Corey Dillon, Randy Moss, uh, Antonio Brown. These are guys that the Patriots brought in. They are that were problem children. They attracted those players. You know why? Because it's a great organization, and they knew that they could come there and win. When the Texans start to get good players and they start to win football games, then you know what? You can handle a problem guy if he knows, listen, we ain't going to put up with that Plus, here. There's, there's a vacuum and there's a leadership vacuum on a team from a star player standpoint. There's a star player vacuum, frankly, where it, it has not been filled. And so if you're the Texans, Zach Cunningham is one of your best defensive players. He's got to follow the rules. Like you need Zach Cunningham as an example setter for the rest of the guys. And if that's not happening, you discipline him and you hope that he you know, does what he's supposed to do the next time around. You hold him accountable. But at some point, the Texans have got to find you know, the young star players who who are the ones who are the self-starters and who get the other guys motivated and doing the things the right way as well. Uh, Culture for the Texans is going to have to be built from the ground floor up. And and one of the ways you do that is holding people accountable and being uh, consistent. And I think Bill O'Brien had issues with consistency from guy to guy. I think consistency is important and showing that your best, one of your best defensive players is not above the rules, is important at this stage for the Houston Texans. Well, unfortunately for the Texans, it's all of their really good players. They had they had culture issues. All of their really good players. And Zach Cunningham, would it shock you if Zach Cunningham is going to be a casualty anytime soon? No, except for the fact that he's got a high cap number and you can't really afford yeah. to cut him. Yeah. <laughs> Name the Texans who hadn't the Texan who hadn't had that issue over the last three years. No, he would it would be it would be very penal to cut Zach Cunningham, and you know what? You, I think, but but here's the deal: is they're not putting up with any business over there. No. Bradley Roby, I know you're a good. Beat it. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Deshaun Watson, you're not playing. Sorry, you're just not it, 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 the best player on the team. You're not playing. We're just not doing that. So it wouldn't shock me at all, even though it would be biting off their nose to spite their face that they got rid of Zach Cunningham. 